Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Apple and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you request a refund from Apple? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to get a refund from Apple anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you run an online business, you know that sometimes you need a lot of different productivity apps to continue on with your business, but some of them just don't work out. So you want to get a refund from Apple, whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. And there's actually two different ways you can do it. One is going to be through your order email confirmation that you get from Apple. And the second is going to be directly through the app store icon. Check my video description. I'll try to leave all the written instructions there as well. So first off, let me go ahead and show you how you can find how to get a refund from Apple through the app store app. It's this blue and white one right here. Let me go ahead and open it up. Okay. So, okay. So once you open up the app store, it will show you the most popular apps on the app store right now. However, in order to request a refund from Apple, you need to click on your profile icon it's going to be here on the top right. Okay. So once you do that, you will see more information about your account on Apple. However, in order to get a refund from Apple for an app store purchase, you need to click once again on your profile icon here on the top. Okay. So once you do that, you're going to see a drop down menu. And in order to get a refund from Apple, you have to scroll down until you see this line right here called purchase history. Okay. So once you click there, you're going to see all of your recent purchase histories with Apple. And in order to request a refund, go ahead and just choose the application you'd like to get a refund for. So for example, I'll go ahead and click on this app right here. All right. Once you click there, it's going to show more information about that app store purchase. And in order to request a refund, look down towards the bottom and you're going to see these three blue options. You want to click on report a problem. Okay. Once you click there, it's going to give you some options on how to report issues to Apple, including getting a refund. So first, what you're going to need to do is choose refund right here in this box. And it's going to be the second line right here, request a refund. All right. Once you do that, it's going to open up another box. You want to open that one up and then just list the reason why you're requesting a refund. All right. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and click on this blue next button and follow the directions. I'm not actually going to cancel this app because this is something that I use on a daily basis. So that's the first way that you can request a refund from Apple. Like I said, the second way is going to be from your confirmation email that you received from the purchase. So let me jump on over to an email. Okay. So here is the email confirmation that I received from Apple for that purchase. And in order to request a refund, all you're going to do is look down here towards the bottom. And at the very bottom, there's a line that says, get help with subscriptions and purchases. And it has a blue visit. Apple support button, go ahead and click on there. All right. Once you do that, it's going to be basically the same thing. What you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you see this line right here called request a refund. Okay. Now we are back here at the same page that we were at earlier. So you can go ahead and just click into here and request a refund and follow the directions. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to request a refund from Apple, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below, let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.